How's it going guys? So um, Richard Evans is deciding against retiring and this is why. Good. So um, before we move on, if you, if you guys have not, please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So uh, Richard, he was really recently being interviewed by Errol Hawani and they were discussing about his future. Richard, he's uh, he's being very honest. He's being very truthful, because the real reality of the situation situation is that he is at that stage of his life. He's at that stage of his career, where he's realized that his time, his time in the UFC, his time in in fighting, it's um it's coming to an end. But how but however, I want to read this quote to you guys. Um, this is from Richard Evans, when when the discussion of, re of retiring was, was brought up. And this is a, a quote from Richard. He goes, I can't retire like this. I would never know peace again in my life. Endless nights, I would be left looking up at the ceiling, unable to, unable to accept reality. That's a uh, end quote. That's from Richard. So yeah. So, if that's the case, if um, if that's the case, if he has no plan to re no plans to retire, what should we do? Well, Richard's um response to that is that well, his last two fight he was fighting at at middleweight. Now he's decided to move back up to to light heavyweight, where he won the title from um from from Forrest Griffin in when is it? In uh in in two thousand eight. So. Richard, you know what? I am not a fighter. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it feels like to being hit. I don't I don't know. Like I honestly don't know that. But however, after that's being said, I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be to have those endless nights. To I know what it's like to have those nights where I'm like, what the F am I doing? Cause look around, you guys, I am filming this from, from my attic. So you know what I am. Whatever decision that you make, I am gonna agree with, and I'm I'm gonna go with it. But however, you must consider about your health and the future, as, and and your future as well, because I believe you have kids and wife that need to be looked after, and I don't want them. I don't want them to see their dad being uh, hurt. I don't want you to suffer any kind of permanent da damage. If you believe that you could compete at, at this level, um, just go for it, man. Just go for it. You know, I will always be be rooting for you. You, you, you are one of the most genuine, genuine people I've, I've ever, like, have have the, have the opportunity to watch. I mean, you've been calling John Jones the way that he's been acting since, since uh, he won the title from from Chogun. and you've always been uh, very forward, very honest. Um, and it really reflect with from from what I've seen. I realized it just I, I I never met you in real life, but of what I've seen from TV, from um the embedded, from like everything as a whole, the way you speak, you carry yourself very well. So Richard, I wish nothing but but for the best for you. And yeah, okay, guys. So that's my quick thought on the situation on Richard not not retiring and of how he's um going back to light heavyweight. And the other side note, he he wants to make he wants to make his return in early 2018. I would be looking out for it, Richard. Uh, one last word. Um, good luck. I wish not nothing but the best for you, my friend. And take care. And to you guys, my audience, if you, if you have not, please comment and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And tell me, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.